You are never gonna believe how many units get left at my shop every year that customers just don't want. Get ready to be shocked. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back in Gigi Canic. Up, everybody's having a great week. It is cleanup time at the shop. Yeah, we had all winter, but we really don't like to go out when it's, you know, 30 degrees and uh, it's been raining like crazy. So that's another reason we haven't been able to clean everything up. But this is our golden hour of the year where we get to go through everything that customers left over the last year. We give them one last call, let them know, you know, if you're not gonna come pick it up this week, we're gonna sell it and uh, the rest of the stuff we recycle. So all these units that you see right here were things that were left this past year since about this time last year. So we go through everything every year, once a year, and make sure that we have room because all this area will be filled up in the beginning of March with units needing to be repaired. So we have like two weeks to get this all done. The sun's finally shining. We got a little bit warmer weather. It's hopefully not gonna rain anytime soon. Hopefully we can knock all this out, either get it in the recycle area or get it back to customers and uh, hopefully make some money off stuff that people don't want to pick up. So We've already started with a bunch of equipment that has been left here, things that we fixed that people never picked up. So a lot of these are units that customers just didn't want to put the money into to repair. And so with us, you know, not having to pay the labor on it, it's totally worth us holding on to these kind of units and fixing. These riders were ones that customers never picked up that we repaired. So I'm selling all this stuff for pretty cheap comparably. Like all those riders, I'm just letting them go for 350 a piece. They all run and mow, but they're all a little scary looking. So people like things that are pretty and always be aware of that whenever you're going to buy something that if it's pretty, it doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to run well because we have brand new mowers in here with blown up engines so and you might have the ugliest mower in the world that's going to last you a lifetime you never know so I'm gonna sell these mowers depending on which one they are from like 150 to 250 dollars because any self-propelled mower right now is going for at least five hundred dollars that's of any kind of quality uh, blowers handheld ones that I've completely you know gone through the carburetor or replaced the carburetor fuel lines fuel filters stuff like that I usually get you know 80 to 100 bucks for those Poulan chainsaws I can sell them all day long for 80 to 100 bucks and I mean they're totally worth it if you just got one job you got to get done I mean to rent a chainsaw is 120 something dollars for the tiniest steel chainsaw that you can get so it's totally worth just to pick one of these up that are you know perfectly refurbished I've got this uh, Cub Cadet mower here that I'm probably, I still need to clean it, but gonna get a good penny out of that one. I do have my sights set on one of these push mowers though, because it was one that we repaired last May and has been sitting here ever since. The customer does not have a phone number, so it is mine now. I'm going to take it out front, get this gas out, see if I can get it to start, and then we're gonna go over how you can save a bunch of time, money, and frustration with this mower because this is a hyper tough. And when I first started making videos a few years ago, this was the, the big video that I made, how to fix your mower in 10 minutes with a $13 part. And I got, I think, uh, over a million views on that thing now, but this thing was $89.99 whenever I uh, made that video three years ago. And these HyperTests are $250 now, and that is insane to me. So they are, you know, you gotta fix up your mowers now, guys. And this is definitely one that's at a price point that a lot of people are gonna be purchasing because anything else is gonna be $500. So. Now, I already made a video on this mower for uh, cleaning the carburetor out. I will leave a link right above to that one on how to fix your mower in 10 minutes with a $13 part, and that'll get you going. But there is a super big secret about this mower that I'm gonna let you in on to save you a bunch of time, money, and frustration because these mowers, they got issues. Now, this mower's been sitting for like nine months. I have no faith that it's gonna start at all. I, we do put ethanol shield fuel stabilizer in anything, but still, I don't trust any gas. It just doesn't matter if you have fuel stabilizer in it or not it's not going to last over 60 days usually it's not going to burn like it should so i am going to try to do my little trick of lifting the rear end maybe jarring the needle loose a little bit getting some gas to go through but that's the same gas that's been in it since last year so i don't think it's going to start but we might as well check
it's not gonna do it. We gotta drain that gas. So first thing I'll show y'all guys, this is, you know, my two cycle storage area where we stick things that, you know, customers need to pick up or things that we're going to eventually fix or things that we want to steal parts of before we recycle. And if you saw in my previous videos, this room was a lot fuller. I actually have a guy that comes pick stuff up and he picked up about 40 units yesterday out of here. So as you can imagine, it was crammed to the max, but as you can see, I still got a long way to go and hopefully I can get this all knocked out this week. I do still have my chain room here and everything's looking a little scary in here. I got a lot of good stuff I want to steal parts off of though before I get rid of this stuff. I mean, a lot of backpack blowers, I could get the rewinds off of, air filter covers, gas caps. I have chops, I have so many chop saws, it's crazy. But yeah, a lot of this just, just needs to be uh, picked through and gone. Now when we come out back, we got things that uh, definitely need to be gone. This area was actually completely packed about a week ago and, and we've got a lot of it cleaned out, but look, I got stuff growing over mowers back there that I need to get rid of. Uh, I've got a pile of metal that is fixing to go to the recycling. If we keep coming on back here, you know, we just hold on to everything until we're able to recycle and getting a bin for recycling, sort of uh, not fun, but look at all these mowers. They all have to be recycled, every single one of these. So we're gonna have to probably get a couple bins don't mind the go-kart that somebody's left here for six months and has not picked up yet. Great. And I think that's a junker. Got a junker sitting here. It's sort of hard when they're, you know, don't got no wheels to roll them really well. So both of these got to go. And then these four mowers right here are customers. Then I have my pile of stuff that has to go to the recycling. Most of this stuff it is uh, completely dead. I might steal some rewinds and some wheels off of it before we let it go. But other than that, all this is, is all bad engines. We've stolen a lot of carburetors off of this stuff. It's just all really, really junk. So that's about it guys. Lots of stuff to get rid of. And now's the time. All right, so I was giving you all the walk around tour. My guys went ahead and emptied the gas and just put some fresh fuel in it, cleaned the carburetor out, got it all shiny and pretty and ready to sell and it runs perfect now. But there is a trick about this mower that I really want to let you all in on because it's it's got an issue and you all need to know about it. All right, so the last thing we need to do before we sell this mower is sharpen the blade because when the customer dropped it off, they did not want it sharpened. They just wanted us to get it running again. So that's what we did. But I wanna show you here, this blade for some reason on all of these Hyper Tough mowers is the most jankiest blade that we've ever seen. They bend constantly and cause customers issues. So they've got the blade here and then it's connected to a blade adapter. Now, most of the ones that we get in, they're either broken or they're at a complete 90 degree angle to where you could till with it pretty much. Now, the problem with it is, is HyperTuff came out with its own center holes that, that they are, you know, brand specific. You have to get their blade and their blade adapter to, you know, put it back together. Now, the crazy part about it is, is this 20 inch blade is 20, like, six twenty five dollars at walmart the 21 inch blade is like 35 dollars and if you break your blade adapter you can't even get it good luck finding it. you'll have to go to a shop and hope that they've figured out the part number for it but the blade adapter is like 30 dollars. so if you accidentally hit a rock and you bend your blade and break your blade adapter you're spending upwards of 60 70 dollars just to get you going again on this mower that is essentially an 89 dollar mower Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this blade off to sharpen and I wanna show you all this blade adapter here. Now, make sure that you unplug your spark plug wire before you go to working on the underside of your uh, mower because it can potentially start. I know everybody's like, why do you remove the spark plug? It's because that's what they say. So that's what we do.
So the blade adapter on this one is still good. Let's see if I can get it off here. It's not gonna wanna slide right off. Need to tap it. All right, so this is a 7 8 center hole, and here's what I'm going to show you in case this is broke and your blade is broke, what you need to do. Okay, so here's what you're going to do if your blade adapter is broke and you need another blade. Instead of spending $60 to $70, you're going to look up the part number for the Craftsman one. Now, the Craftsman one looks different, so you're going to have to replace the blade at the same time, but it still has the 7 8 shaft hole, so it's going to slide right on there. And instead of, you know, paying that big amount, you can get these. I think it's eight part number 851514. You can find these cheap online, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars So if you have the 20 inch mower like it's on this one, you're gonna be able to find the AYP blade. That's who made the Sears Craftsman stuff or the Husqvarna stuff. And it's a part number 145106. Um, if you want to get the rotary number, it's a 15-6235. I sell this blade for $15.99. It's made in the USA. It's way more heavy dutier than that cheap hyper tough blade. And you'll, you might even find it cheaper than this, but I'm telling you guys, this is the way to go. And even though we're sort of slow right now, I'm still getting in at least three to four units a day. So I got to get those knocked out. got that one out in the yard ready to sell it to now and I think I could probably get 120 bucks for that thing it runs good I did sell a handheld blower while this was all going on got 80 bucks for a used handheld blower that I had uh, replaced carburetor fuel lines fuel filter air filter all that good stuff spark plug so let's see how all this stuff sells so I did get a hold of the local scrapyard that brings us a bin so we can load it up and get all this stuff recycled. Hopefully they will bring it at least two to three times because I have so much stuff. Like I said, we work on over 2,000 pieces of equipment every year, but as you can see, hundreds of them do not get picked up that are not worth fixing or the customers do not want to put the money into it. So I'm stuck with it and hopefully I can make some of this uh, trash into treasure and make some money off of it. So thanks again for tuning in to Chicanic. Hopefully this video saved you some time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find us at Instagram at The Real Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys and have a great day.